uh, and you often uh, you often see him adapting uh, at an incredibly fast rate. Looks What's like up, we mentioned. Hey, how's it going, man? Good, good, good. We're just getting into Krogunk Crescendo here. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you perfect. Sweet. Okay. Um, Dylan and Mike are coming, but it'll be me, you, Aiden, Josh. Sweet. Hondo? We have some bets happening have at the commentary table I don't know right how now. Much I have left. <laughs> I'll put a. I'll. I'll match a hundred for I'll you. Do you got it. Okay. I don't know how much. I think I might not have a hundred left. I lost a lot. <laughs> so I got a hundred on Crescendo here. Yeah. I. I do. I do like Crescendo in this matchup. One thing I see about his wolf, and we got lots of wolves in the scene, yourself yeah. being one of them. He seems to have a game plan for every character. He does. That's actually the biggest difference between him and every other wolf, I think. Because mm -hmm. I was talking to him about uh, like how he beat player, because I lost the player. Mm -hmm. And he just had so many things in his game plan that like is very detailed. I know, especially for a matchup like this, you need a game plan. And I feel like that's going to be a big difference maker. Because mm -hmm. uh, Krogunk actually beat me, too. Oh, OK. Today. Uh, so you know, he, he can beat wolves, but I think Crescendo will have a stronger game plan. So it's just going to be harder for Krogunk. Mm -hmm. I think both of these guys did lose a set in pools. Despite yes. that, though, they're both here in winner's side top that, eight. That is true and very... Uh, yeah, that's crazy, mm -hmm. yeah. Because Crescendo, obviously, the first seed in his pool, lost to LB Suxy. Yep. Uh, and Josh, uh, I'm not sure who, but I don't think he was first seed in this pool. Maybe he won out. He wasn't first seed for sure. He was second seed, and I, I don't know who he lost to, or if he even lost, but he's definitely second seed in his pool. So yeah. Should, uh, two people that definitely had like a hard winner's run to get here and yeah. are here. Uh, and that's the thing, they both are adapters, they both play a lot of Smash. Like Josh obviously having a long history yeah. in uh, Smash in general. While Crescendo seems like, you watch him play and you think this guy must play every day and write down every time he plays like notes and stuff. Yep. Uh, just that kind of uh, calculation and preparedness uh, from grinder, him. For sure. Yeah. From Prince Albert, um, I think. Yeah, Prince Albert. That's correct. I think that was a. I'm not sure what that I was. I think Josh won. Josh, won. Josh two socks. <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, it was Josh. Our screen went black. Our screen went black. Was it supposed to go black? Okay. Oh, it's good now. Crescendo's from Prince Albert. I don't know if you have a thing for that, but... There is not one. Okay. I, I look for one. Mushu's close enough, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop Saskatoon or Regina, I know that. Yeah. But is repping uh, PA today. The, the thing about Crescendo, though, and I'm surprised he didn't switch. I was going to talk about this right after, is he has other characters in the arsenal. So he has a fox. Oh, okay. Uh, that's very good, and he has a Sonic that's very good. He's, I've seen him use the Sonic today, and he used it yesterday at the pre-local. Mm, I've seen his Fox, never seen his Sonic. Yeah, the Sonic's definitely newer. Okay, I like that. And Josh definitely has a mixed bag of characters too, but not playing on his traditional controller. He usually yeah. plays on Box. I think I've only seen the Kazuya from Josh today. Yeah. Oh, I, was, I, I was chatting with him a little bit about characters earlier today, uh, and is just kind of looking... Uh, maybe not to reach into the bag of characters, uh, especially just not being on his home controller. Uh, just wants to keep the character something consistent, uh, and it makes sense. Yeah, yeah having multiple characters is like a, always a blessing and a curse yeah. because you know you have lots of matchups covered, but then the whole time you're thinking, oh, maybe I should use this character, maybe I should use this, yep. and not worrying about like what you actually have to adapt to in that game. In my bracket path today, I let uh, my my. Uh, what, what's the word? Like my, my inner demons yeah. win. And I, I switched off of my Sheik mm -hmm. and ended up losing that game and eventually losing the set to Pink Bombo. Uh, I'll be beating myself up for that one. Yeah. Uh, because it, uh, it did go game five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it is, it is definitely a double-edged sword. So many people this late in Ultimate's meta don't just have one character. Yeah. Um, it's, hard, it's hard to solo main in this game, to be honest. Mm. No, definitely, with so many characters and foul, foul matchups yeah. that you run into all the yeah. time. Uh, we talked about how good we thought Crescendo's game plan was, but Krogunk seems to just be not phased by it at all. 
I like, think, yeah, he's, Josh is definitely catching Crescendo getting antsy, yeah. approaching a little too much, yeah. and then as soon as he steps back, Josh is willing to kind of step on the gas and shock him uh, by approaching himself. Uh, but I think Crescendo's biggest strength, though, is when he's on the defensive. When uh, his opponent is approaching, he has every single thing flow charted out. Uh, and he looks extremely strong. Really good strength. Holy shit. Wow! Oh my god, this is crazy. That was a zero to death, that I think. That was a zero to death, yeah. <laughs> he just hit him once and then did 100% to him. Yeah, that triple up air, you, Josh, um, you know, probably thought about putting out the down air. Crescendo likely would have been ready for it. He, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This, I play this matchup a lot, actually, and uh, it's like one of, every... Kazi matchup is volatile. This matchup is really, really volatile, even for Kazi matchup standards. Because mm -hmm. Wolf could just juggle Kazi is so good like that, yeah. and then we lost our screen again. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Super volatile matchup, but yeah. it, honestly, really fun when you get the hit as Wolf, and then and then you don't and then you don't get the hit and you get hit, and it's the worst matchup in the world. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we see. Uh, crescendo, kind of going with what's working and letting uh, Josh approach. You have to do that in this matchup. Yeah. I think that's definitely just a main part of the game plan. And uh, this this stage is weird because uh, right now it's it's like low key pretty chill. The stages look really big. There's lots of platforms to sit back on, and then the platforms go away, and then it's super scary. Yeah. Because Kazuya will corner you quickly, and then it's just empty. Those uh, side platforms in the kind of opposite of the tri plat formation, definitely a comfort spot for Wolf having so much. Ooh. Great back air. That was the same thing as last time. Oh, a, a taunt coming out there. He's feeling himself a little bit. Yeah. No, but just all this aerial mobility from Wolf uh, will test Akazia and how sharp they are on an anti-air catch. Uh, and we've seen Josh hit lots, but uh, right now, uh, Crescendo using that full hop and his double jump to his advantage yeah. and uh, being as ambiguous as possible. Nice, catches the mistech there. People often talk about how Akazia's airs are like fast and really strong and good, and they are, and they're disjointed as well, but he still has a uh, So when Wolf is double jumping above you, he has to do the, the slow jump spot and then do the slow double jump up to... Yeah, yeah, because he, he kind of does the flip before yeah. he jumps up. Yeah, so... so oh, nice. Ooh. Nice call. He's, <laughs> he's really feeling himself, you can tell now. Yeah, yeah. After that comeback, I would too, like... Crescendo, from what I know, prone to a little bit of frustration with DLC, yeah. and it makes sense, you know, being a Wolf yeah. player, a lot of people have, who are Wolf players have been Wolf players for the majority of the game, and as you see, your character slowly um, get farther and farther away from the meta, uh, it can be a little frustrating, but uh, definitely looks very comfortable right now, uh, and it'll be on Krogunk to you know, see if he can adjust his game plan, change things up. Uh, because yeah. right now, just kind of bashing his head against the wall a little bit um, and hoping that uh, he gets hit by a strong move. That should be it, yeah. And it is Kazuya. 117 is yeah. a lot, but it, it, you know, if Rage plays a factor for anyone, it's Kazuya. <laughs> Actually, I'm, the, the combos are actually way harder with Rage. Harder? Yes. Okay. They get harder with Rage, so he's actually pretty safe. Oh yeah, good, yeah, good he there. went he went yeah. super high on so, the... So he's actually pretty safe from the combos, but but once he gets to this like mid percent, you're a little scared because you get your one electric up smash away at like 60 from dying. So. Yeah. We see them both being... Oh! oh great, call. great call out, yeah. Just, uh, we saw a lot of that double jumping and then fast falling and fading away. Yeah. And as soon as he saw Josh go up, he said, I'm going to rip it and see if he tries to land on me. Uh, and it pays off for him. And I think what Krogunk was thinking there was like, he was just like trying to hit him out of the air because we talked about how hard it is for Kazuya to get those anti-airs while yeah. he was jumping everywhere. And then that's when it's Wolf's turn to get the anti-air and just go underneath it. So it's just like great conditioning. Yeah. And then just frustrating for the Kazuya player. He has to figure it out. <laughs> we see no character switches, yep. no uh, big changes really. They're sticking with the same thing. I'm really interested to see what Josh will do here. I'm surprised he went back to town because I feel like it was really hard for him to get that one hit. Even though he does have FD, so when he gets the hit, it should be really good for him. Mm -hmm. I think on paper, it's it's great for Kazuya. Yeah. But in practice, it was just a bit yeah. uh, too challenging. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll see here, because 
uh, Josh, obviously being a top player in another game, has the ability to adapt on the fly uh, with precision that a lot of other players who are competing in an Arcadian don't. Uh, and we already see him putting some strings together here, but not just finishing, uh, not quite finishing them up. Ooh. Oh, that should be it. Yep, got lots of control here and FD, uh, but has to deal with the wolf invincibility. He does fine. Krogunk was uh, is definitely winning these like rock paper scissors yeah. interactions a lot more. And well, I, well, how you beat that as wolf is you just have to take less of them. You have to pick your spots a little bit better. Yeah. You also see Ooh. Close. Honestly, um, Crescendo's punish game kind of shining, uh, and him kind of that being the driving factor. He's almost out punishing Akazia, which is crazy to say. It's it, it's a part of this matchup is like wolf. Oh, that was really good. You, uh, I think. I didn't see the percents, but Crescendo could have held in, I think, to live that. That was crazy, yeah. I'm sure it's instinctively like, you see a Kazuya running at you. Yeah. You want to wiggle towards stage. Um, and now you see Josh waiting, kind of outspacing uh, those fares from Wolf. He uh, has a whole stock to work with, yes. so you know the vibe. We'll want to prioritize stage control. Uh, counter hits. Oh, that's a big wind fist. Ichi. WGF. Yep. But now, on these tech chases, Crescendo always looking so, so solid. Yeah, Wolf's we'll, we'll punish game in this matchup can actually keep up with Kazuya, kind of, mm -hmm. except for getting the kill, I find, is, is, the, is the hardest part some of the time. Yeah. You just have to deal with uh, the rage drag here. Nice. Jump. That cancels it, yeah. This is doable. This is very doable. We've, we've seen him zero to death him before. Yeah. And unlike oh. Cause, unlike Cause your Rage does help Wolf Wombo, so. Oh, that oh. was scary. Those jumps are scary. He's going through that down smash every time. He's got this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good catch. Uh, and is it's it, gonna. Is it 2 2? I think it's 2 2. It's 2 2. Kazuya yeah. Mishima wins. Uh, I'm sure we'll see the same characters, but I'm wondering uh, where Crescendo's going to go here mm -hmm. as a counterpick. Can't go back to town yeah. unless Josh would let him, which is possible. Well, Josh picked town last one, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so I think they might just agree to town. I don't yeah. even know. We'll see. I Personally, if I lose on a stage, I'm always like, I just need the, the next stage to get the reset. Yeah, just like yeah. mentally, it's a new game. Yeah. Uh, but Josh, you know, showing uh, that town was kind of a fluke, and, and truly, it, it did happen. Wow, that's so awesome, cool! Awesome, <laughs> awesome animation. Yeah, now we're going to game five. It's a banger set. Truly, Three, we got Hollow two, Bastion here. One, uh, go. If I'm the wolf player, I'm very scared of that middle platform. Yeah, the middle platform is actually really scary on this stage because um, Tazia can do, use his. Um, Side B to cover a lot of it when he does the tech chases. Right, yeah, yeah. So he'll cover. He, so if, if Wolf's on like the, the left side of the platform, he could cover roll in, roll out, and tech, tech in place. As well as having access to uh, Electric Wind, Godfist, and fast up air. Yeah. All sorts of stuff uh, of that sort. Junk. Hit a uh, cable. Fix. Uh, we've actually seen Josh deflect quite a few lasers uh, with that uh, tilt. I don't remember what it's called. The F tilt? Uh, yeah, the F tilt that reflects. <laughs> oh, oh, you're talking about the shine? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the la Kazuya's laser is actually pretty ass in this matchup. Uh, oh, no, sorry. I mean the other way around. Oh! Uh, Kazuya's deflecting both okay. lasers. That's, that's one of my favorite parts of this matchup is because a lot of the times the Kazuya has to like kind of do the input preemptively. It's hard to do it on reaction. Yeah, definitely. So you, what you can do is you shoot those lasers, get them to, into doing it, and then hit them with dash attack and whatever. You know in, in basketball how people always say, oh, I wish I could see prime MJ versus prime, you know, this person yeah. or whatever that can't exist because of time. Yeah. I wish we could see Wolf with the extremely fast laser, like oh, from, yeah. from back in the day versus yeah. uh, just the meta now. Obviously, Wolf yeah. is still so good. Yeah. But, uh, one of his biggest strengths being, uh, you know, stage control with laser and being buffed yeah. could be kind of crazy. I want to see Prime Kazi ever versus Prime Wolf. That's yeah, what yeah. I want to see. With his old down smash too? Yes. You know, oh, like, my God. You nerfed that down smash three times? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got, I got like hit that. by that down smash yeah. a lot of times, man.
Josh being so patient in the corner, knowing that it's his advantage, and uh, cleans it up with the down air. I'm glad last time he went for the down air on the, the flash, it uh, didn't work for him. The flash went through, but this time he was okay. <laughs> he shines back the yeah. laser. He's going for those after airs again, and it's just really hard to do it as Kazuya, so. He's going to give him space here, but commits oh, down hard air. to an option. Oh, here. really bad. Small dog. That's a fundamental difference I'm seeing between them now. They're both giving each other space yeah. in the corner to mess Great up. Great grab. Excellent grab. But uh, Josh is waiting for them to make a mistake, where Crescendo is hedging his bets on a big option. Yeah. And now we see Crescendo on his winner side stock here, actually. Uh, with Josh not far behind, but definitely, uh, yeah. definitely in control right now. Gives him space here. See, look, kind of oh. goes for the gambit right oh. off the bat there. He has to be careful about the grab. But he's got that rage drive. Josh is not trying to let it rip. Oh! Yes. Did he laser? I, I don't know what, what he went through there, but. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. And Crescendo able to jump over there. That could be a fist. Oh, grab Great him. tech chase, yeah. That was, a that was the platform we were talking about at the start. Yeah, totally. Okay, avoids the out of shield yeah. option. Now it's just going to be a lot of swinging for yeah. both of these guys. If I'm, if I'm Josh. I'm not jumping ever. No. I don't want to get hit by that back air. I'm, I'm playing on the ground and forcing him to get a mix. I want to play that's under it. that platform. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and Krogunk is in winner's finals. Kazuya Mishima wins. Let's go Saskatoon! <laughs> We're still in it! Saskatoon has flopped at this Arcadian, mm -hmm. I will say. Uh, especially